Welcome back to day six of our intentional travel planning challenge. Today, we are going to talk about how to feed your bucket list. So, so far, we have found a place to keep a bucket list that works for us. Um, we filled out a worksheet. We've got some ideas about what we want to put on there, some things that tickle our travel fancy. How can you continue past this point uh, to feed this list? And so it can be a source of continual travel inspiration for you. Because this isn't meant to be a static thing that you make once and it just sits there collecting dust. This is a dynamic list that you're going to be crossing things off of and adding things to forever and ever. Amen. So you're going to add to it and your brain is going to get a little jolt of satisfaction every time you cross something off of it. So to do this, first, we've got to set aside some dedicated time for this um, because life is super busy. And so if we're going to make travel a priority in our lives, we need to set aside time. Now, whether that be time in at the end of the day after your kids go to sleep while you're having your evening bath on Pinterest, um, whether you set aside one day a week, um, put it on your calendar. Make it make travel a priority um, in your life by 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 allotting time and energy to it. So. I've got some ideas for you today of places to find travel inspiration for your bucket list. And uh, the first one I've got is Pinterest because Pinterest is a really great tool. It's like a visual search engine. So you put in what you're looking for on there, either something specific or something general, and it's gonna bring you up visual representation of, of of those things. And as you click on those things, they're going to take you to different websites or different sources of information. So that's really good if you're a visual person and you really want to see this. And as a bonus, if you have your bucket list on Pinterest already, it makes it really easy to just um, to just click it over and add it right to your bucket list. So next source of travel inspiration uh, are your friends and family. And there's a couple different ways of this. Um, I know everybody loves to post about their trips on social media. So next time you see someone post something on social media and you go, gosh, that looks like fun. Well, that's ding, ding, ding. That might be something to add to your bucket list too you can look into. If you're really brave, uh, you could ask your friends and family. You can post and ask people for suggestions. <laughs> People love to love to share information. People love to give suggestions. So if you're brave, uh, you can ask your friends and family if they have ideas for you. Um, and so the next place I have are tourism websites. Um, excuse me, tickle. And these could be both local and far away. Um, you would be amazed at what fun things that you can find um, on tourism websites close to your home that you have no idea existed. Um, so you can search for tours and websites for different states, um, different country level ones. Um, so you can keep it as specific or as broad as you want to. But, but tours and websites are a really great place to find inspiration for your bucket list. And the last place, a uh, place that I look for travel inspiration a lot, are travel blogs. Um, there's a lot of info out there on the internet about travel. Not all of it is good, folks. Um, most of it is shallow and it kind of lacks depth. So my advice about travel blogs, because there are so many of them out there, is to find a couple of travel blogs that you love and that fit your travel style and stick with those. Now, if you don't know where to start, um, I am going to share with you a link to get to a list of my very favorite websites for looking for travel inspiration. Some of my favorite travel blogs and other places that I go on the internet to look. So I'm going to pop that up here. If you go to this link, bit.ly forward slash TWS for travel with Shanna, best travel blogs. That's going to take you to my personal list of the travel blogs that I go to when I'm stuck or I need travel inspiration. So I hope that some of those are going to be helpful for you as well. So 
we are wrapping up with our bucket list stuff for today. Um, I hope that you have a bucket list now. You've got some things on it. It's a physical thing. We are going to move on to the next step of this of this travel process. So stay tuned. We will we will continue on to day, are we on day day seven tomorrow? I think. Hold on. Time flies when you're having fun. This was day six, so tomorrow we are moving on to day seven um, of our travel planning challenge. So stay tuned for day seven tomorrow. I hope you have an awesome day, and I will talk to you soon. Take care.